My name is Dan Schulpsel. I'm chair of the Department of Geography at the University of Western Ontario. Geography is just a wonderful discipline because you've got so many different individuals studying a broad range of topics. One of the fascinating parts of geography is the use of geographic information systems which are used to collect and store and analyze uh, spatial data and we use that in two ways here at Western. One is to underpin many many of the studies that we do regarding cities and the environment. The other is to develop uh, new techniques about applying geographic information systems and so it's this latter component that you're going to be looking at in this video. I'm Jin Fei Wang and I'm a professor teaching geographic information systems and remote sensing. Uh, my research is about information extraction from uh, remote sensing images and we use satellite images and air photos and we use computer processing and also to test the accuracy we usually go to the field. One example is for change detection for urbanization, for example urban expansion of uh, Beijing, China. From the satellite image we can find um, we can find the extension of the urban growth area and then from different years of satellite images we can find different urban uh, boundaries. Currently we're working on a project for uh, urban forest uh, tree structure um, and uh, we have projects uh, working on using hyperspectral image and uh, high resolution data and also laser scanning LiDAR images to uh, describe tree structures like uh, tree height, uh, tree crown cover and uh, tree crown area. Um, the graduate students are all involved in these research projects so we work together and they also learn a lot. Um, they learn how to uh, design a research and they also learn um, how to do literature review and how to critically review the current status of development in certain area and then they also learn how to uh, they learn the principles the concepts of image processing and uh, they also learn computer uh, software and they all have uh, by the end, they all have very strong technical skills using computers uh, to process satellite images. Hi, I'm Micah Pazner. I'm an associate professor at the Department of Geography and uh, I would like to introduce a few examples of what I do. In terms of my research, I tend to focus on geographic techniques, both lab and field techniques, with a special emphasis uh, on, on field techniques and also on imaging. Example I would like to give is of applications we work in. One of them is uh, in gold search and trying to apply geographic techniques to searching for gold. I've been working on that area with students since 2003, so uh, we are in our seventh year in that area and we have had a number of theses come out of that work. Another application area I've been working in in the last few years is uh, wildfires in uh, northern Ontario in the boreal forest and there we use geographic imaging techniques to image forest disturbances and to look for spatial temporal clusters of wildfire. Uh, what we, did, we wanted to do there was take scientific visualization and digital image processing from the lab and do it right in the field and in real time. In terms of the uh, objectives, uh, the, the wildfire research is very timely in terms of what is happening with uh, global climate change and uh, uh, the gold search area is one that uh, is very interesting to the mineral prospecting community. Uh, we've had some of our students work with mineral exploration companies and do their thesis uh, with their support. Yeah, this uh, I would like to show this, uh, this little uh, rock here which is a piece of quartz and it has uh, uh, some pyrite and copper and uh, possibly a bit of gold in it that would have to be determined through uh, uh, assaying in a, in a lab 
And uh, this time we uh, found this rock using uh, our imaging techniques and specifically using image processing in the field itself to, ident to identify and uh, the location where, where this rock is and then collect it. In terms of uh, grad students who want to work with me, I would like to uh, just re-emphasize that uh, I have a great affinity to working on techniques and to working in the field. So uh, students that want to have an experience with field work and with geographic techniques, specifically with imaging techniques, uh, they should uh, contact me about that. On a parting note, I would just like to invite students who have their own ideas for topics that may involve things like cartography or GPS uh, or visualization, image processing, software development, raster GIS modeling and so forth to suggest your own topics as well. And uh, if by any chance you can secure funding and uh, from a scholarship and apply with that, it makes the chances of admitting you that much easier, in particular if you're an international student.